And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create rounded corners. There's a specific tool for that. So I've got two simple objects and a path created. Let me select the rectangle. I'll go to path and path effects. Then I click on a plus sign and there's this corners fillet chamfer tool. Just click on it. You can make it visible or invisible by clicking on the eye icon. And we can go to the radius, it's set to pixel on the unit. I'll let me increase that to 100 and you can see all of these corners are now rounded with this specific value. Let me set that to zero. And now I'll use the notes tool. And now we've got these four points in the corners and I can simply drag them to the left or right side and create these curvatures. I can also hold shift and click on them and then type in a specific value for the knot distance. Make sure fillet is selected. By default it should be. Let me change that on top as well. And now both on the top right and the bottom left have the same value of 100. So it doesn't matter on which of the two knots you click. You can undo all of that by just clicking on the minus sign and this effect will be erased. Let me add the same one to the triangle and it works the same way. I can drag it with the notes tool. Or I can type in a specific value. So at 150 it becomes obvious what we've got here. This tool also works on paths. So let us add this effect once more. Use the notes tool. And you can turn sharp corners into rounded ones. And you can change the curvature of rounded corners with this tool easily. This tool comes in handy when we create Typical shapes like uh, shields, for example. As I said, here's the unit tool, so you can change that from pixels if you don't want to use pixels. Let me delete this and now I'll create a polygon. Obviously, we need six corners, so I'll create a hexagon. I hold control when I drag that to have this shape and now let me duplicate it. So right click, duplicate. I'll make the duplicate red by clicking on the red swatch at the bottom and then I add the corners effect. And now I use the notes tool and drag these notes inwards and the top one to the bottom. And you've got a shield created very quickly from this hexagon. And this is how you can round corners in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.